So in this video, I want to quickly show you where quantum computing is already doing useful work today. Is it early? Yes. Is it only hype? No. Number one is in physics and materials, simulations we can't do classically. First, quantum computers are already being used to simulate quantum systems that are painfully hard for classical supercomputers. For example, research teams have used quantum processors to simulate complex physical systems and quantum materials in ways that would be extremely expensive classically. These experiments don't just prove a point. They help scientists explore new materials, phases of matter, and quantum behaviors that matter for things like superconductors and advanced electronics. In industry, companies are experimenting with battery materials using hybrid quantum classical methods to simulate chemical reactions more efficiently. The goal is to discover better chemistries for things like electric vehicles and grid storage. So, Materials in chemistry R&D is one very real, very active application area. Number two is optimization in traffic, logistics, and finance. Optimization problems, routes, schedules, portfolios are already being tackled with quantum hardware and quantum-inspired algorithms. You see pilots in traffic flow optimization. You see pilots in traffic flow optimization, where real city traffic is mapped onto a quantum-style optimization problem to reduce congestion. Logistics and supply chain, where teams explore how to load trucks, ships, or warehouses more efficiently. Finance, where quantum and quantum-inspired algorithms help construct and rebalance portfolios under complex constraints. Are these still experiments and pilots? Yes, but they're live experiments with real-world data in logistics and finance. They're not just toy textbook examples. The number three applications in health and drug discovery. Quantum devices and simulators are being used to model small molecules and reaction pathways in ways that complement high-performance classical computing. And that matters for early-stage drug discovery, for catalyst design, and materials for medical devices. So is it just hype if you expect quantum computing to be everywhere in production today? You'll be disappointed. Saying there are no real applications is just not accurate anymore. It is already being used on specific problems in physics, chemistry, optimization, and finance. If you've got thoughts on this, drop a comment and let me know what you think. Hit subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss the next one.